not just museum pieces, but are part of Iraq's history. The black Rolls Royce belonged to King Ghazi. The silver Mercedes, a gift from Hitler in 1936. After 50 years in the shadows, Iraq's royal past is finally being put on display. The Iraqi monarchy lasted for just 37 years, cut down by the 1958 revolution. But for many Iraqis, it represents Iraq's golden age. Really, when I saw those uh, photos, I wanted to cry. I wanted to shout. One day we had a king. There were three kings, King Faisal, installed by the British in 1921. His son Ghazi, who died young in a car crash. And finally, Iraq's last king, Faisal II. He was a young boy when his father died. He reigned for just five years after he turned 18. Even those who likely never would have come to power without a revolution feel a sense of nostalgia. All this made Iraqis yearn for the royal era and pray for the mercy of those beautiful days that our grandfathers are proud of. They were simpler times. The gift for a prince, then, was a Chinese bicycle. Before the grand balls and the royal dinners, King Faisal II grew up almost an ordinary boy. That all ended with a revolution that ushered in a republic, eventually headed by Saddam Hussein. For 40 years, it was dangerous to be openly fond of the royal family. This is the first time there's been an exhibit like this in Baghdad. These photographs show some of the glamour of the royal family in Iraq. But what they don't show is the tragedy that came after. Most of the royal family was murdered in this palace on July 14, 1958. Some of their bodies dragged through the streets. The objects on display here are part of the few that were left over from the looting. It's all part of history now. King Faisal's reign began in an The history of a young king and a young Iraq full of promise. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.